Hi, this is a Visual Basic login system developed using do until loop with three attempts. So the first thing I'll do is let's enter in valid details there. One, two, three, there. So supposing we decide to enter the correct login details. And there we go using do until loop so what I'm going to do now is to take you guys straight into visual basic development environment and we put one of these together so let's do that now guys hi and welcome to visual basic tutorial of another login system with three attempts using loops so I'm going to start by clicking on create new project and let's select visual basic and select windows forms application i'm going to call that vb underscore log system underscore three attempts right that's the name of my project click on ok okay now that my form is ready i'm going to set the size of this form to three to one thousand three hundred eighty six by let's go for eight hundred and then click on OK. So right here, the text property I'm just gonna enter login system right there. Right, maybe copy that anyway. Now, let's copy. Now, let's come straight to the toolbox and just enter the panel panel is there you see this very panel I'm gonna need two of those so let's change the properties of uh, this very panel the border style I'm gonna change out to fix 3d and just ex copy it then extend this that much that is fine and this very one here let's use that as my login area session now Let's add the following component onto the system. So let's come right in here. Grab a label. And then I also need the text box. And let's enter three buttons. So our buttons here, I'm going to select all of these components, change the size of the whole component force. Let me make it about 20. And there, there we go. One other thing I like to do is I'm going to copy this though. There we go. Now, right in here, let's add another panel in here. Draw it inside it. So there's a panel within the panel. And change. The border style of that as well to fix 3d now now copy this cut it and paste it right in inside our panel hold down the control copy click and copy there we go now change this once and let's change the data we have in here to username and this one we change that to password pin that down Alright, this is how the form looks now. So I'm going to copy one of these and just come right here and enter a login system there. There. So let's increase the font size of that and make it 48. Right. And let's change the font size, the font color. I'm gonna make that control light light and come right down here. Change the border style or the back color I mean to control dark dark. And in here, let's change this to control dark dark as well. And we need the back color. Control dark dark. There we go. And let's set the following properties of these. Auto size make that force and border style. I'm gonna make that fixed 3D and just drag. 
so let's speed up the whole design of the interface then I'll get back to you guys okay guys this is how the whole system looks right now so I'm gonna add a form and that very form I'm going to call it travel management system I already created one that is on YouTube anyway but let's just come straight to project here and add one form to represent the travel management system there we go let's select windows and just add a form and there we go that's the form there change the size to 1386 by 800 that's my form 2 there okay so what i'll just do is to copy the details of the travel management system paste it on this form 2 okay guys i've copied the details of my old traveling management system as my form 2 that's it right there but um, it actually do nothing so let's come in here because this whole tutorial is all about login system using a for loop double click on the login button itself and right here i'm going to declare all right let's say dean password comma dean username come on i'm going to dean p and u as strings then the next thing is let's declare another one called that attempts so attempt as integer equals zero and up here let me declare another variable there as a global variable right up here i'm going to call that checkers okay now that we have those ones in place let's say password equals equals let's just make up something that's my password there and username let's say username equals let's go for one that's my username there now using do until attempt equals three now that I, that is done let's say attempt undo that Let's get rid of that and copy this here. Paste that in there. Attempt equals attempt plus one. Right, just that's just to check how many times you've logged in, into the system. So let's say p equals txe password dot text and u equals txe username dot text now let's use an if statement to check if password equals p and username equals u then let's declare another variable there i'm going to say f2 as new form so that's for form 2 so that's an object created for form 2 okay in here and we just need to say f2 dot show and me dot hide right hide There we go. Now, else we just want text box to be cleared and username cleared as well. Okay. 
there and the username can be let's say username dot focus as well right there now that we have that in place and we have our loop here the next thing I would now like to do is I want checkers to check what's going on checkers equals or plus equals one for every time there's an error checkers is actually checking what's going on so if checkers equals three then just ask the application application that exit and that's all the rest of it so if I run my program now okay so let's enter incorrect value there and check this out one two three you see the system goes off okay so if we run it again and enter the correct value let's say the correct value here is yeah that's one and in here we have q80 there we go guys you see that and that is how you develop your own three attempts using loop login details but there's just two more things i intend to do here double click on reset and just copy all of this let's reset there now the next one is exit just gonna copy this if you like you can you can carry out another ways in taking care of your exit there okay that's the exit so let's run it and see enter some data in there reset and exit works as well so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed so you all have a nice day and bye for now